Incredible greetings. Hello, creatives, and welcome to Silaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia, the professor. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're already a part of Team Silaholics, hey, creative, hey, and welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how I combine elements from several different files that I got from Creative Fabrica and turn them into my own, right? Um, by adding some text to it and some additional elements. As you can see on the screen, the original was the one on the top left. Then I'm going to show you how we basically camouflage off the rainbow parts. I have a blank slate for the paper area. Then we're going to uh, take another tumbler wrap where I like some of the elements. I actually do like all the elements individually. I just don't Feel like they work together so i'm going to isolate all of those elements and i would be able to create a bunch of different uh tumbler setup and designs with each of those elements if you guys are interested in seeing other designs that i create with the other elements please let me know in the comments then we're going to go ahead put all of it together add the little holes uh to represent you know the the line paper and we're going to have a finished tumbler uh, in this, we are going to use a couple of different tools. I'm going to just kind of break down those tools for you right now. Um, so if you want to write them down, familiarize yourself with them. So we're going to use uh, the shape tool rectangle. We're going to use the modify tool for like cropping, subtracting, welding, all of that. We're going to use duplicate. We're going to use trace and detach. We're going to use, of course, the text tool, text to path. And then we're going to use the shape tool to make uh, the little circles and then color them in. And then, of course, text for like Mrs. Smith or whatever, Miss Smith or whatever name you're going to put on it. So those are the tools that you would need to, I'm not going to say master, but that you need will need to be familiar with if you would like to attempt something like this with files that you have. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. So I started with this one, of course, and we're going to end up here. So I'm going to simply duplicate this because all my students know we duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. All right. So I'm going to put that off to the side and then we're going to zoom in right here. Okay. So I'm going to come over to the left hand side, get a rectangle tool. And I want to make that we're probably going to go to about right here and go up and over to about there, okay? I'm going to, again, copy. Not gonna do anything with the copy just yet. We're gonna select this, the box, which I can select the box and the original Tumblr template, go over to modify, and we want to crop. Then I'm going to go right click and paste in front and then send that to the back. All right, I'm going to now go to my replicate and I'm going to duplicate this over a few times. So you can come up here and use, um, well, this one will basically mirror it because it's the same, like you literally can keep using this because it's going to just make a straight line because it, um, or you can just do the uh, duplicate left. I completely forgot. I really wanted to do multiples, but it only goes one way. I forgot. You can also use this one. So we're just going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And then on this one, we're just going to pull it back um, on the other side of the line. And I can delete the original because we don't need that. All right. Up here, it is a little bit off. Now, it's just a duplication of the other side. So I cannot just adjust my edit points. I'm going to just go ahead and make a shape to cover up this part here that's going a little high into the... Um, into the other line. So we're gonna do that with our shape tool or draw polygon. We're just gonna make a shape here just to kind of cover that up, select that shape, go to our fill color, sample that, ooh, nope, wrong one. Sample that area around it, turn off our line color and then make some minor adjustments to ensure that we cannot see it. There we go. All finish. Zoom out. And then I can select it all 
and group it together, I now have a new base. Once we do that, we're gonna come on down to the second Tumblr template. I'm going to duplicate that and move that off to the side. Go over to Trace, select Trace Area, place my box around it, increase our threshold until we have yellow around all of the elements. Doesn't all have to be filled in, but I do wanna kind of fill them, like just to make sure everything is selected. If there's any like one part that you want, you can just focus your trace area on just that part of it. And then I'm gonna go trace and detach. It's taking a little bit longer. Hopefully it doesn't shut down. It's because of all of the open areas and gaps. So it's trying to read all of that. Sometimes this does take a little bit longer than if the whole thing was solid. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna click on the white and hit delete on my keyboard. Everything goes away. So I now have all of these, so these areas isolated. So we're gonna click there and then we're going to, um, you can make this a compound path or you can group it together. Same thing for all of the elements up here. Okay, so I just want this one. So I'm gonna bring this over, or should I say up to my, template that I modified, we're going to bring to the front. And I also want to make sure that this is the right size that I need it to be. So for me, um, I do my Tumblr templates. Oh, and I now realize why it was much bigger. So I do my templates at 9.35. I normally don't like just kind of stretch this all kind of weird, but it's not going to make that big of a difference with this one. So 9.35 and I do 8.15. So just a little bit of an adjustment. That way it's perfect for my tumblers. So now I'm going to take my um, element here and we're just going to size it up. I'm gonna place that right there. Okay. Then I want to come back to my shape tool, grab a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle for, for this. If you want it to be a perfect circle, it can be. Um, or you can you know, just make whatever shape you want because this is how your words are going to arch. Once you have your text typed out, for me, I typed out my text and I put a couple of spaces in between because I know I'm gonna put the colored dots between it. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this to black, double click to bring up our text edit mode, grab the circle with the crosshair, bring that to our circle and drag that over. If I want my text to be a little bit bigger, I do have to double click. Um, well, sorry, double click. I'm gonna hit Control A to select all the text in there. Go over to the A on the right hand side and change my uh, point size. So let's try 17. That's actually kind of perfect. Um, probably 16.5, but I'm okay with 17. I'll probably move it over just a little bit here. There we go. Once I have it exactly where I want it to be, which I think I also want to kind of, do I want to move it up something? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna push it out just a little bit. And once I have it exactly where I want it, 
after I duplicate it. <laughs> I'm gonna click on that, just the words, not the shape, right click and make it a, um, sorry, convert to path. Our circle turns back red. We're gonna click on that and remove it. And then we're going to go back to the circle, hold down shift, make a really small circle here. Fill it in with any color for now. Remove the line color. And normally I would have a color chart already ready to go. But to uh, do the colors, you can sample colors from within your design. So I'm just gonna go yellow. I like to use keyboard shortcuts, so Alt and click, or you can simply use the duplicate function and then uh, just move it. So if you just go duplicate, you can do it that way and move it. But I like keyboard shortcuts. It is um, Alt, click and move on a PC. Option, click and move on a Mac. All right, so any combination of colors, and then we're just going to go over to the left-hand side, grab a new text box, and the professor. Now, I really don't remember what font that is, so we're just going to ungroup this one. Click here. If you have Designer Edition or above, you can always use your properties dropper. Click on that, it's going to change it. We're gonna go over to Transform, rotate negative 90 degrees or 90 degrees, depending on which way you want your name to flow. And it's amazing how different fonts will look depending on the letters. So I, I love it over here for Miss Smith, for the professor, it just seems really, really busy. And so I would go in and change this to a different font. I'm not gonna do this now, but if I was actually making this, I would select a different font with this particular name on it. But all in all, that is how you can modify designs and make them your own. You're not stuck with exactly what you see on any site. You know, anything that you have downloaded, you can always change it up, switch it up modify it for your needs and just make it very unique to you. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, hope you have hit that thumbs up. If not, go ahead right now, don't wait. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed now if you have not subscribed yet, or you can watch a few videos if you feel like you don't know if I can actually teach you something. Watch a few more videos, but make sure that, um, still make sure you hit that subscribe button, all right? Um, and visit our website, shop.hsinc365.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our amazing sublimation projects. So we did sublimate this tumbler. There is a video on our uh, on Satika channel on me making these tumblers. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and then check out our classes. We have Essential Silhouette Studio, which will walk you through all of the tools and functions of Silhouette Studio so that you have a better understanding of how to use them for designing. All right, y'all, that's all. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.